Good morning, everyone. Rob Lukey with Our Capital Group. Uh, remember, if you don't have an account set up with Our Capital Group yet, uh, you can always follow what we're doing as far as our, our the properties we're buying and selling by simply going to past performance on the website and putting in large caps OCG and then the lowercase welcome, and you'll see all the properties that we're buying and selling. You can always confirm these with uh, by just going to the county website where they were purchased and verify where they were bought and where they were sold. Once you log into your software and have an account set up, you'll come to your dashboard that looks like this, which will have your available cash, your unrealized P&L, your closed P&L, uh, estimated value. Uh, you'll go ahead and you'll have on your current holding section, this is where the unrealized P&L comes from. You can click on details, of course, and you'll see, for example, 50%, 38%, 34%. This is your ownership in those properties, okay? That's uh, the, the portion that uh, you're, you're, uh, you've decided to uh, take a position in. And then you'll see that the uh, estimated expenses and the unrealized P&L. If you want to see more of what you've purchased, for example, we bought this property this last, uh, not last week, we weren't able to purchase any property last Friday at, at Washington's auction, but uh, we were able to buy something the week before. So I'll take a look at that in a second. Just to go over the current holdings, this is going to close this week. This property, Cimarron, will close this week. We're taking possession of this property at the end of this month. We're in possession of this property. No offers currently. We're going to take possession of this property next uh, at the end of this month. This property is in possession, and we have a currently we have a tent, we have an offer on the property. A uh, little, little low. We had it valued at uh, 350, a little underneath 340. So we're going back and forth on that. Uh, but to go back to this one, for example, that we purchased the not last week, but the week before. Remember, you can always go back and you can get updated values. For example, on this property, when we buy a property, we always value the property as being in average or below average condition based on the research we do, based on past records past comments that we see on the property and so forth. This property actually ended up being uh, a little bit better. It actually is in pristine condition. So we increased the value and that's part of what happens and it's all based on an average obviously, but over a course of a year, you're gonna have maybe five, 10, 15 properties that you buy uh, or that we buy and that uh, end up being in this pristine condition. And that's what actually increases your rate of return. But again, it's all an average, so you'll hit some that are like that, and some are exactly, you know, what what you think they are, which need where, where they need work and so forth. So that's why when you usually see a property that you were expected to get maybe ten percent on, and you get twenty or thirty percent on, it's because of what you have happened there. Uh, remember, also, you can always go to search available properties, and you can always look back at last week's auction. We have. Uh, Properties that are only targets, for example. Remember, there's properties that are considered hot properties, for example, for examples, that are uh, properties that uh, we actually aren't going after, but that we would, oops, sorry, uh, that we might be going, uh, might not be going after, but we still think, think is a value. You know, there may be a good rental, it may be a good for an end user, and so forth. But you can go back and look at all the properties that were at auction, see where they sold it for, see what we were bidding for, and why we didn't buy it last week's auction is frankly everything was, in our opinion, people paid too much for it. This property we had valued at 220, purchase price ended up being 254. This property was a good value, somebody else bought it, 141, that was a that was worth worth it. This property, a good value, I think they they'll do all right on that. This particular property, a condo in uh, Woodenville for thirty-one thousand. That's a great deal. This property we think was uh, probably purchased by an end user. So again, there's plenty of opportunity out there. I hope everybody has a uh, great week, and we'll talk to you next next week. Have a great one.